What's up YouTube? This is part 6 of my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. So it's been a little while since I've actually uploaded an episode of this, which I'm really sorry about, but I have had a lot of stuff going on um, outside of YouTube, so uh, that's pretty much uh, what the reason is. Alright, so last episode we are about to go and get our first gym badge, the stone badge from Roxanne. Um, there's just going to be a few uh, trainers here before you actually get to uh, the privilege to uh, battle the gym leader. So uh, most of them have got, I think actually all of them have got Geodude. So uh, times are going to be pretty easy if you have a Combuskin with Double Kick, which um, is kind of what I'm aiming for at the moment. You can pretty much sweep through his team, well both the little trainers team, and as well as the gym leader, you can sweep through her team pretty well as, as well. Um, just thinking what other Pokemon you could probably get. You could probably get, um, I'm pretty sure you could get a low tad or something like that. Um, that would be about the only ones that I suggest would be the easiest way. Um, it, of course, if you chose the um, Torchic as your starter, uh, of course, but um, things would be a lot easier if you had uh, Mudkip, of course, or um, or the other or the other evolution. But um, of course, this is all. It's always hard to verse the um, uh, the Rock type gym in when you have a fire star, I remember in Pokemon Yellow how you have like Charmander, you're trying to beat like Onyx and shit. <laughs> it's not fun. Anyway, so um, uh, Youngster Josh was uh, beaten there. It was um, pretty easy because I've got Double Kick of course. So he's going to get me uh, $96, I nearly said $60, $69 there. So uh, next trainer here, if you can't beat me you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Oh, it is on. <laughs> so he's gonna have uh, one Pokemon. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a Geodude again. Da -da. Thought it'd be something cooler than that. Anyway, so um, Double Kick's gonna be able to take that out easily. So one and two, bang, he's gone. That was easy. God, looks like I do stand a chance against Roxanne then. So I get 202 experience points, and that's level 17 for me. So I should be around, I'm pretty sure the actual gym leader's highest Pokemon is 15. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, so um, I just checked my bag before anything else. Nothing there of real use at the moment. And I've only got two Pokemon at the moment. So I should be able to easily be able to beat them with just the Combusker. Alright, so I would like to demonstrate my, well, would you like to demonstrate your skills of Pokemon? Of course I would. I'd also like that little stone badge as well. So she's going to lead it off with a Geodude, level 14. And I've got my 17 Combuskin, so I'm guessing it's going to be about a two-hit KO. So that being one. And unless she doesn't use a potion or anything, I should be fine. Um, the Geodude uses Rock Tomb, so Rock Tomb actually lowers... <clears throat> excuse me, um, indigestion. Uh, the Rock... Um, the Geodude actually um, lowered my speed by one stage there, which is kind of going to be a little bit of a pain for the next Pokemon. So I'm thinking about, after I kill this thing, um, I'm thinking about switching out and then doing like a double switch so I don't lose my uh, actual speed boost against the uh, Nose Pass. So Geodude's going to go down there and I get some nice experience there for beating him, um, being 258 experience points. So alright, so he's got the Nose Pass. Um, Yes, I'm going to switch out my Pokemon here and go into my uh, my Taylor here purely because I know I don't stand a chance against it, but I just wanted to get that um uh, that downgrade on my speed, get get rid of that. I want to be faster than that nose pass. So I was meant to go for Growl here, um, but I accidentally pressed Peck. So no biggie, but um whatever. Rock Tomb's going to take me out anyway because that's super effective against me, and he's quite a few levels higher. Anyway, so, whatever, he's down, I'm going to go back into my Combuskin, and I am going to get him back for doing that to my Tailu. so, alright, so double kick to start things, actually, no, I'm going to use Focus Energy to begin with, so Focus Energy, because I'm well aware that Nose, uh, nose Pass is not going to die to, a um, probably a one double kick, anyway, so he goes for the Rock Tomb, that's going to be super, that's not even going to be super effective, no, um, and my speed drops there, and I go for a double kick this time. He goes for a rock throw, and that does quite... That does a little bit, but he's obviously more tanky than having a lot of attacks. So I get a nice crit there. So it was definitely, definitely worth using Focus Energy at the start there, because um, I might have been in a little bit of trouble if she kept spamming um, 
uh, the potions or whatnot. So I get level 18 there, and that's that's pretty good for the first gym, um, level-wise that is. So it seems I still have much more to learn. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, so please accept this official stone badge. So that is my first um, stone badge to and first step to getting me to the um, Elite Four. So I get the stone badge, and I'm also getting. Uh, I'm also getting a TM2, so I'm guessing it's going to be Rock Tomb um, by memory. And please take this with you, so TM39, and that is going to be Rock Tomb. So, I really don't have a use for Rock Tomb at the moment. And I'm just going to, well, I'll just keep that in there, just just in case. Anyway, so make your way out of the gym, and you feel like a legend just walking out of there, because you just beat everyone. Um, get out of my way, and there's this... Yeah, it's this guy from the forest again, the Devon dude. Uh, before I do anything, I'm just going to quickly go down and... Well, I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon because... I'm definitely guessing there's going to be some kind of little... A skirmish there or something that you're going to have to beat him... And get those uh, Devon goods back. So, give this lady my Pokemon. Hurry up, bitch. Heal my Pokemons. Come on. Thank you for waiting. Damn straight. Alright. So head out of the um, <laughs> head out of the Pokemon Center and head up uh, north again uh, towards uh, this little dude. I'm just gonna head up into Route 115 just quickly. Just uh, let me see what does this actually do in this area? Oh look, a Pokeball. <laughs> so Pokeball caught my eye, and I wonder what it is. Uh, it's probably gonna be something really really crappy that there was no point even going. Oh, it's just super potion. Yes, I've always wanted one of those. So. Um, head back down because there's really no point of even going to this area at all because it's just completely useless. Um, I'm going to jump over this ledge because I can and head back down and head out east to of Rustabro City and there this be this dude here. Oh, it's you, the fantastic trainer who helped me in Petal Petalburg Woods. Uh, he was robbed again, so what you're going to do is head out east um, route. Uh, 116 and you're going to have to actually go back. Um, there's actually a a tunnel to the um, end and you've got to go beat that um, the little uh, dude in there and actually he stole the sailors um the, the sailors uh, Pico as well so you got to actually rescue that as well because that's going to give you um, a nice little boat trip to Duford in the uh, future so there's a pokeball up there and you can obviously see those little cuttable trees you can go up there if you want I'm really not going to be bothered at the moment because yeah I'd, I've kind of got um, I just want to try and pass the story game and there won't be anything really of value to me at the moment up there. So I've beaten all them trainers as I was just checking. Oh, another random Pokemon. It's going to be a Wisma. So, oh, oh yeah, um, the cave to the east is just full of Wisma. And if you want to catch one, yeah, that's pretty much the place to get them. They appear every time. It's kind of like Diglett's cave, but with Wisma in there. Um, you talk to this guy and he's like, he's like all the case fill up with Whisper as well and obviously the uh, the team macro dude uh, ran through there and here's Mr. Briny, the guy with the Pico and yeah he's like some scoundrel made off, off with my <laughs> with my Pico so that definitely sounds like something an old person would say uh, he's like come and get some and I'm like oh I will come and get some <laughs> so what you gotta do is you gotta go up to this dude and you gotta uh, obviously you gotta battle him and beat him in uh, the epic Pokemon uh, battle of the century. Not really, so he's <laughs> Team Mackerel Grunt wants to battle and he's going to have a Pugina. Uh, so I've got, I'm leading things off with my Pip Bird, so a peck should be about a 2 3 hit KO. Um, yep, 2 3 hit KO is right. Um, how's going to up. Oh god, I ate this pizza before, I shouldn't have like stuffed it down. Getting like hiccups. Anyway, <laughs> so peck is a 3 hit KO and Pugina. Um, Use a sand attack on me. I'm gonna get really pissed if that misses. Uh, sand attack lowers your ac um, accuracy one stage. So I'm gonna use Peck once more, and yes, that hits. So Pichuan is gonna go down, and I should get level 12 there because uh, that's quite a bit of experience for a low level. All right, so level 12, and I defeated the Team Acro Grunt. Ugh, my career in crime comes to a dead end. Hell, yes, it does, and I get 220 bucks from him. So yeah, I'm all cashed up at the moment. So the boss told me it would be a slick, easy job as well. 
Well, it's not a slick, easy job when you're going to beat a four-year-old little girl. Well, uh, probably older than four, but uh, still, it's a girl. <laughs> so, um, you get the Devon goods <laughs> from this dude and you put them in your pocket. Of course, because you can have 99 items in your pocket, um, somehow. That's Pokemon logic for you. Anyway, <laughs> so Pokemon... Um, uh, sorry, Poke Pico is going to be rescued by Mr. Briny and... If there's anything you need, don't hes hesitate to ask. And his cottage is just outside the Pedalberg Woods. And you can actually jump on a boat ride with him to Duford City, which I will most certainly be doing. Because I need to deliver those um, those goods there. Um, sorry, not the goods. I need, to just, I need to drop off a letter there. Just after I uh, hand these goods back to this uh, dude again. And no doubt he'll give me another great ball, I'm guessing. I'm sick of these uh, wild trainer battles. What will it be? Oh, it's a zigzagoon. Um, well, I'm actually actually in need of a bit of a uh, HM slave at the moment, so I might come back and get one of them or something. Anyway, so head back uh, uh, west towards uh, Rust Row City, and he'll be waiting there for you. Just go up and talk to him, and... Give him the Devon goods, and of course I'm a really great trainer. <laughs> and you get the ob, you get the obtain the uh, great ball there. So that's cool. So he's given you two two balls. So well, I should have some fun with two balls. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, so uh, you go into the president's office, and pretty much you're just going to walk up there, and he's going to give you this letter. You have to um, uh, deliver. Um, I'm pretty sure it's to Stephen in. Um, uh, Duford City, so you're going to um, hitch a ride on the boat just right after this, and he's going to call me over to the president, and he would like to have a word with me. Du -du 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 just that music comes on, I remember, in Pokemon Yellow and Red and stuff. Alright, I'm Mr. Stone, the head of such and such, and not only have you saved my staff twice, but I am going to give you this letter. So... Obviously, you're gonna to have to deliver this to Stephen, and Stephen is actually the the guy that you'll see, you know, throughout the game, and you eventually have to verse him in the end of the game um, at the Elite Four. But and you get the Poker Nav as well, so that's cool. Um, it's it's an indispensable tool for any trainer, so cool. You can do all your um, stuff on there, uh, everything. You know what the Poker Nav is, anyway. So uh, head out of this building, and there's really nothing else in this building that you need to do really and so just head out of it and pretty much what we're going to do now is um, we, you pretty much have to head back down to Pedalburg Woods and for some reason I'm going up here why am I going up here for? <laughs> so I'm going, going back into Route 115 not the most useless area for some reason I don't know maybe I'm just trolling myself <laughs> right so back into Rosterbro City and head uh, south down into Pedalburg Woods and into that little cottage. For some reason I'm reading this sign as well. God damn it, put your running shoes on. <laughs> Alright, so I've just got my A game on and put my running shoes on. So head down here and uh, your rival will be here and he's just going to give you um, a little tip on what you need to do but we already know what you have to do because yeah, we've done this a lot of times. And so head down here and what we're going to have to do is head down Route 104 and just... Um, I've battled all these trainers, so there's no going to be real nice uh, slow points here. It's just going to be a straight trip, really. Alright, so head down here. And you can also uh, use your cut back there if you saw on that little item there. I'm not going to be really too worried about using cut on any items. Uh, really, and just at this point here, I was recording on my emulator and I was actually eating... Uh, I think I was eating noodles or something at the time, and <laughs> I was actually eating them right, and you know how you fill it up with, like, I filled mine up with half half the bowl full of water, which I probably shouldn't have done, and I've put it on the side of my desk, and at this point when I was recording, I kind of tipped it, it fell off the desk all over me, I was like, fuck! So that's why I kind of stopped there for a second. Anyway, so, route uh, 104, and go back there, and my little berry's still growing there as well. Alright, so um, I'm going to be able to talk to Mr. Brighton on there, and he's like, hold on lass, we owe you so much, da 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 da, let's go on a boat trip, um, we'll sum it all up that way. And it's no problem for him at all, 
And yes, I want to go on the boat trip now, so anchors away, and let's go on this little boat trip. And somehow, we both fit in the boat, considering the boat's as big as we are, but of course, Pokemon Logic again for you. <laughs> so there's a whole lot of trainers you like uh, go past on the boat. You can probably, when you get the surf, uh, when you get the surf, um, that gem, you can go back and verse all them, get some uh, nice experience there. But anyway, we're going to pop into Duford Town, and really that's about all I'm going to do in this episode. Um, next episode we'll be meeting up with Steven in, in the, uh, the little cave and probably versing the gym leader. So, uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more episodes.